Hey. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for coming by. Welcome to uh, this is my drum room here in uh, my apartment here in New York. And uh, man, let me let me take you around and give you a quick tour. Man, the first thing I had to deal with is uh, you know building a room within a room. And uh, basically, this is a floated room within a, a spare bedroom in an apartment. And uh, it's sitting on some uh, neoprene discs with some insulation and about eight, eight layers of uh, black vinyl and homosote and plyboard and all sorts of cement board kind of mixed up to diffuse the uh, vibrations into the outside world. So uh, floated from the, uh, the top and the bottom. And then I also built another uh, riser to put the drums on because one of the hardest things to control is the low end uh, going below. So this is kind of like an industrial strength thing on uh, heavy springs. And then with another uh, eight layers of stuff on springs and whatnot. Then uh, as far as acoustically treating the room, there were some issues I had to deal with. I have a sliding glass thing here. And so we ended up putting a curtain on uh, across the sliding glass to deal with the reflections so close to the drums. And then uh, on the ceiling to deal with the uh, direct slap back from the ceiling, uh, got this cool like acoustical treatment for the ceiling that Arlex makes that helps diffuse the uh, sound so there's a slap right back down. And then the same thing with the, uh, the back wall just dealing with the, the reflection. I got some acoustical panels and stuff like that. So then uh, that helped uh, the sound immensely once I got that stuff going on. Then microphone wise, pretty straight ahead uh, choices. I got a 451 by AKG on the hi-hat, uh, 57 on the snare with uh, this kind of acoustical uh, insulating thing so everything doesn't bleed into it. That's pretty nice. And uh, let's see, on the toms, I've got these uh, like clip-on AKG C418 microphones that have worked out really good. Because the space is so limited, you just kind of clip on there. And uh, for overheads, uh, I kind of mess around with a couple different things, but these are really great, these Earthworks um, TC25. And uh, what's cool about these mics is they're, they're omni microphones, so they kind of catch a 360 degree uh, scene with the drums, and you can get a really full sound with just kind of a pair of overheads and a bass drum mic if you want to do a minimal approach with these. This is a, I use this sometimes, it's a, a kind of a low cost stereo mic that Audio Technica makes, AT822, which gets a kind of a dirtier sound going on if it's a track that uh, needs that. The bass drum has a D112 inside. And uh, the other microphone thing I have over here is the SN57 that goes into a, a roll, old rolling groove box that has kind of a compression thing that gives a really nasty, uh, cool, compressed, dirty sound. And uh, finally, I've got this, uh, this cool Sputnik, uh, kind of a vintage, a new make on a vintage tube mic thing, which gives a really nice warm sound for an overall mono kind of picture of the drums. So from there, my mics go into this preamp, which is uh, the Octane preamp that M Audio also makes. It's really uh, affordable, but does a great job. So all my mics go in here and then come out. Uh, I use ADAT optical light pipe cable that's uh, under my secret passageway so I don't bust my ass. And that goes to the uh, M Audio project mix board, which is a really great affordable board uh, that, I, that I love. So all the uh, mics come through the uh, optical cable into this.